tell me a bit about how, how was the game when you guys started? Man, it was very competitive from the beginning. From the beginning, we knew that was going to be hard. So we came in from effort. We put in two months of hard work to be here. And we're happy we made it. Fucking, it, it's about time we made it here. It's too long. Eight years is the last one. It's yeah. about time. We're happy. Everybody's happy in our team. It's about time, man. It's about time. So how do you feel about the, the winning today? I feel great. I feel like I'm the man of the hour. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight, but I feel great right now. Nothing can beat this. It's great. I love winning. I love basketball. It's what I do. I so, so the last things. What is your message for your young basketball who are coming up and who works hard to make this kind of things happen? My message is be patient and keep working hard. Be patient is more important than working hard because things come slowly. Nothing comes right now. It took us eight years to get here. It didn't come last year. We didn't win last year. Last year we came last. Hard work and patience is what you need. Time. Now, thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. What's your name? My name is Piat. Uh, Piat, why are you here today? I'm here for the basketball tournament. Yeah. So this basketball tournament is a very big event, you know. Uh, how do you feel about the day, or how do you see young people interacting and playing basketball? Uh, how, how do you see it? It's good. I like the basketball tournament because it gets the kids off the street. They'll be training like up to six months before for the tournament. It's very competitive, it's very fun, and it's just yeah. nice to have, you know? Uh, what can you say for young people who are coming up who want to make it to the next level in South Sudanese community like a basketball player who have ambition? To make it to next level what your message can you tell them um don't go out all the time focus on school and train hard <laughs> because that's why every single time they come to the final some people usually go out that's why they lose but they need to stay focused so don't go out stay in school <laughs> thank you thank you for your great message as those beautiful girls why they're here and what they did they're all from camera hello girls how are you doing we're doing good uh, we're good we're good you? what's up good. can you say your name a shingle Helena, a chalk, Nanki, yeah, and a chow. So, how you guys feel for about the day today? I will go one by one. I will just select randomly, right? Yeah. How did you feel about this day? It's a great day, but we we um we didn't make it to the final, so it's sort of sad. What about you? How do you feel about this day? I think today was alright. What about you? <laughs> it was all right. I mean, obviously everyone wants to win, but we'll come back next time. Yeah. So did you guys put a great work? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just one of those games where it's anybody's game, but you know, you weren't in it type of thing. And it's like 50-50, but we didn't get it. How do you feel about the day? Um, I feel all right about it. All right. Oh. So it started off great, but it ended up, it started off bad. It ended up with a bang. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to our supporters and we could have won that but we choked. Thank you and um, thank you for all Canberrian girls. Hey, hey, how's it all going? My name is Nate Dude. Yes. Yeah, you know. How do you feel when you get this uh, a valuable, you know? It's a privilege. Yeah. It's actually, it, is, it is actually a privilege just to get this award and I'm actually pretty happy about it. And I basically, I just basically thank everyone else here for just coming out here. So it's pretty good. Yeah. And thanks for the boys. <laughs> I see you on the back. In in your view, yeah. as a South Sudanese, this is a big day for a, a big day. Yeah, yes. and then, yeah, yes. they bring people together. Yeah, it does. So like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, How like, do you yeah. think the relationship between young people develops oh, this, through the sport? It just basically develops this because like you know, it basically just unites us all together as a like, community in a row, and just basically just brings us together. Just come and have, just have fun and just enjoy. That's great. Uh, what is your message for young South Sudanese out there who want to make it? In basketball, this basically just have a mentality, just to basically think that you can just make it everywhere in the world, and just to always just achieve, just you know, just to just always try to achieve your goal, and just to always have just the right, right, right mentality to everything, to every step. That's what uh, I do. Thank you, thank you for being being with us. Appreciate that. Exactly. What's your name? Uh, Akum, Akum Kof. Akum Kof. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm playing in a tournament, the South Sudanese tournament. Okay. Uh, you play basketball, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, did your team win or not? Yeah, we won the grand final. Uh, you win the grand final. That's very good. So, uh, what is your message for those young South Sudanese who come here to play basketball and share time together? What can you tell them? Um, just train hard, be persistent, and you achieve your goals.
So, do you study? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, which year are you in? I'm in year 10. In year 10. What is your goal in the future? Um, to become an NBA player. Uh, do you want to become an NBA player? Yeah. Okay. So, do you know any South Sudanese who play for NBA? Uh, yeah. I'm um, Luan Deng and Kong Banka. So, you want to be like them? Yeah. Thanks. That's great, man. Thank you, man. Uh, Good job.